Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna to be carving a bear and a log out of this big piece. You guys can see here how tall this thing is. We're we'll carving a bear and a log. Gonna be using a bunch of different chainsaws, cleaning it up with some power tools. So be sure to stick around. Well guys, like I said, we're going to be carving a big bear and a log today. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so we'll see how it turns out. Today I'm going to be running my steel chainsaws, because really that's all I have are steel. I'm running an 039, my 193, my MS250, and my MS170 with a dime tip bar. Those are the saws I'm going to be running today to uh, carve this thing out. Once we're done with the chainsaw work, I'm going to grab my die grinders. I've got a couple saber tooth bits in there. Uh, a couple flame bits, two different sizes. We're gonna use those to, uh, you know, add the detail and clean it up. Then we'll move on to a torch and uh, hit it, burn it, add some more detail. Before I get into all that, I wanna thank you guys for joining me. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And I'm gonna grab my safety gear and start ripping on this thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Apparently I got a little carried away uh, and didn't really figure the arm height to be very well. It would have been way down on his belly. So I just hacked that sucker off. I got to go grab some Gorilla Glue in a few minutes and then we'll bring this thing up where it should be. Put Gorilla Glue on there, screw it in place until the glue dries, come back, recarve it and adjust as needed. So sometimes these things happen, you know, we lose an arm. Luckily, it wasn't my arm, it was his arm. Still very sad. Very, very sad day. Oh, well. We'll set this thing aside and uh, continue to clean this up before I actually glue it on. So, I want to come in and get rid of the cut marks that are up in here. I want to kind of bring this in a little bit deeper so you get more of that three-dimensional look that he's in this log. And then maybe start detailing the outside of this to look like a jagged log in the back and kind of clean up. I gotta clean up behind the neck and the head. I know I really haven't given you a back shot, but I'm back there carving stuff out. The other little thing's gonna be kind of shaping these legs more and getting this head where I want it. So I'm gonna stay away from the body and where this arm's gonna to need to be until the arm is on. But I wanna get in and around wherever I need to now that that arm's out of the way. The mistake's already been made, so it gives me a lot more space to really get in here and clean stuff up so that's what we're going to be doing
Well, guys, accidentally jacked this dude's arm up, right? Um, <laughs> I'm really not super happy with how it is as it is, but I'm just going to go for it, put it on, make it work. So, get in here. was just going to glue this piece back on like this a little higher, but honestly, I hate it. There's not a ton of wood here on the bottom, and I don't want to glue 800 pieces on here. So, I think what I'm going to do is just take the chainsaw and kind of cut this at an angle so it's nice and smooth and just glue that on so his arm will be up a little more like this and yeah that'll that'll be that we'll just see how it goes cut it with uh, the battery saw get a nice smooth cut and then screw it in place I've got some four inch lags here I'm gonna use with the impact gun and Gorilla Glue. This is the stuff you guys want right here. Gorilla Glue Original bonds virtually everything. So this stuff will foam up. That means it'll get in all the little cracks if the cut's not perfect and things, and it'll hold it together really well. Now, normally you wanna wet the wood. This wood's a little wet still, so I'm not too worried about it, but you can spritz it down or wipe it. Get your Gorilla Glue all on there, and then screw your piece on. That's gotta sit for quite a while, so once we get this whole thing on here, I'm going to go through and clean up the inside of the log here. Try to get rid of a lot of these ex excessive chainsaw cuts that are in there. And then we're going to come back around here and work on cleaning up this face, uh, putting in the eyes and the nose and detailing the paws and things like that. And putting some detail on the outside of the log. In the meanwhile, all that glue will be drying. That's going to take a long time and so we'll be able to get all the other work done by the time that's ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece and we'll start getting it in place. Try not, if you're gonna use this Gorilla Glue, I use a lot and honestly, just try not to get it on yourself. Let's see. Solid. Well guys, that's it for the saw work right now. Until this glue sets up, it's starting to foam, but it's it's still super sticky. Like, it's not ready to, to be getting carved yet. What I'm gonna do is take this larger flame burr from Sabretooth. This is a three quarter inch with the quarter inch shaft. I'm gonna come through and detail up around the log and kind of cut some more grooves so it looks more like bark and sand up any other little spots that I think really need it. Once I'm done with that, we're gonna grab the 
next size burr that I have, my other die grinder, and that's a half inch with the quarter inch shaft as well. We'll take that one and start detailing the face and the paws. All right, guys, jumping right in with the quarter inch shaft, half inch bit. As you guys just watched, I used my burr bits to clean up the bark, clean this up, and start his eyes, nose, and mouth. Now, the bark out here in the wood was done with a three-quarter inch burr bit. The eyes, nose, and mouth area, the paws, the nails, as far as they're done right now, was done with the half inch. So I took the three-quarter inch burr out, and I put the quarter inch in. I haven't used this yet. If you guys watch the burr video, which is popping up right now, check it out or check it out at the end of this video. I'll have it popping up again, and I go over these a little bit, but I haven't used this yet. First carving with this quarter inch, my plan is to carve up some eyes. We're gonna carve the eyes up, 
and detail these nails just a little bit more and see how well this thing does. That quarter inch just worked awesome especially if you're getting in here and these nails that fit perfectly for a bear this size doing the eyes it did okay you know like trying to get a little more detail in there but i like the half inch more and i think it's because it's a little fatter so i can get more of a rounded eye when i use it it makes sense when you guys you try it and you do it a little more i have a feeling i'm gonna have to do an eyeball video again you know carving up eyes if you guys want to see that let me know Well guys, chainsaw work is done. It's time to hit them with the torch. You guys have seen that process done a hundred times, so let's just do this. Well guys, there's the bear. Burn's done. I already brushed it off quick with my, my bristle brush. And now what I'm going to do is get out these flame bits again, probably just the half inch. Go around and clean up where all the over burn is. Get rid of it, so the only thing black is the bear. That's the plan. There you go guys, bear in a log. He's ready for some varnish. I might do a little white in the eyes, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out with, uh, with the varnish on there, but that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this, uh, this video. If you guys wanna see more about the carving burrs that I use from Sabretooth, I'll have a video popping up right now actually from earlier in the week where I discuss those and talk about them. And I'll have all the links to the tools I'm using below in the description through Amazon. You guys purchase through those links and they help support this channel and I really, really appreciate it. Also, you know, when you guys watch these videos and you gotta deal with those commercials, those commercials help support those channel and so your views are greatly, greatly appreciated. I really do, I appreciate you guys. I thank you, thank you, thank you. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, share it if you want. I might take this video and put the whole thing in high speed and see if I can just cram it all in for a short five to six minute video. And uh, I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but you guys get this one, the extended version first. So thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time.